I'm Poss Keach from Barrowing, Studio 34 in Barrowing. Well, um, I was born in Sydney, uh, had a photographer for father and journalist for mother, and we lived out the end of Bob and Head Road, which is right on the edge of the Karingai Chase, which was my playground for, you know, 10 years. And I spent a lot of time out in the bush and pretending to be an Aborigine and drawing on the rock faces and make, mixing up my own paints and always had, you know, just a huge desire to create and paint. And then we went really bush and um, went up to Tamworth and I finished school up there. Um, and when I'd finished school, I, I, all I wanted to do was go to art school. But my father said, no, you haven't got enough talent. You'll go nursing, you'll go to, to be a secretary, you'll do, you know, as they did in those days. So I went and obliged and, um, and then uh, went to New Zealand to ski and picked up a job um, cooking uh, in the ski lodges. And that evolved into a 30-year career in catering. So, um, and in that time, oh, actually, I came back to Australia at one stage and uh, I, just, I thought oh, I'll do a picture framing apprenticeship. So I did that out at the Lennox Gallery in Parramatta. And then I went to work for Ruth Cracknell and Eric Phillips, who have had Hawk International picture framing gallery. and. So I had this constant, you know, urge to be around art and, um, and I'd exhibited um, during that time. Then I had a family uh, and I had six kids under six oh. and <laughs> that kind of got in the way of art. What do you um, mean you didn't have time to paint? <laughs> <laughs> um, and, uh, but uh, I have just, um, in the last four years, um, uh, sold out my career, you know, my, my business, PB Catering, and um, turned back to my painting. So it's just like I've gone full circle, but I feel like I'm in the right spot, reinvented myself again. But I love at this stage, um, just working in acrylics means that I can change the painting. I mean, there was actually quite a lot of collage in this painting, which I start a painting um, without an, a concept often. And then by throwing some collage into the work, it inspires me and sends me off in a new direction. And I mean, this is the painting today, but I might, might go home and in a week's time, it might have ch totally changed. Years ago, in, when I was doing my picture framing apprenticeship, I met a fabulous woman called Ada Clark. Now she's 92 and she still paints nearly every day. Um, she'd brought in a collection of work uh, from Greece where she'd been painting out in the streets for three months with her sister. Wonderful, colourful, bohemian woman. And I very quickly you know, formed an attachment to her and a great love and respect for her. Her work, you can have a look at her work, Ada Clark, you know, she's online. She's very up with it all. Um, and I just loved her use of colour and her strength and fun. And um, I took uh, her and her sister and another couple of artists out to the Flinders Ranges and we pitched our tents in dry creek beds and I cooked for them all and, you know, put up their tents and took down their tents <laughs> and we painted every day. And so she's been a great influence. What are you yes. most looking forward to? Ooh, um, I'm looking forward to welcoming people to our studio. Um, I'm working in conjunction with my cousin and um, we, uh, we're setting up a big studio right around the verandas. My husband's hanging racks as we speak. Um, and um, we're going to offer tea and coffee down in the garden. It's It'll be a lovely spring, summery garden, so even if you're not interested in the painting, <laughs> come and sit in the, and have a cup of tea it in the garden for a while. A